babies it's your girl paris simone or whatever and today i'm going to be doing a story time on my worst date experience now this person <laughs> like we haven't talked since this date he's a sweet person um so i really hope he doesn't see this video we're not like close or nothing but he does follow me on social media i hope he doesn't watch my videos so yeah but hopefully he just doesn't see this but if he does do better <laughs> okay y'all so before we get into the video i just want to share really quickly that i am doing a meet and greet in la on the 5th so if you guys are interested and you guys want to come meet me have a conversation hang out take pictures all of that please buy your tickets the link will be in my instagram bio and also in the description so go look for my name buy a ticket to see me and i literally like I will probably cry because I just want to meet you guys like it would just be so cool like I'm always like talking to you guys and I comment and like I talk back to you guys but I've never like actually gotten to see you guys and like hug you guys and have a conversation so it would just really mean a lot to me so please go get your tickets because I love you guys so much and I want to meet all my babies but um yeah let's get into the video okay y'all so this day when did this happen this was like a minute ago like this was a couple months ago um me and this person had went to school together and like we had like messaged each other during class okay <laughs> i'm gonna get into the real tea like i'm gonna really tell y'all how it was what it was okay so there okay <laughs> so when i had first went to college when i was a college student dropped out but when i went to school um, there was this boy that I met. We're gonna call him College Boy. If you watch my TikTok lives or my lives on Instagram, you know about College Boy. But there was this boy, College Boy, who I had met, right? We have our story. We had our little situation, whatever. Me and College Boy were done talking. Like, you would not even know we knew each other. Still to this day, like, if you saw us both in a room, you'd think we never met each other in our life. Um, but so we had class together and we're gonna call the guy who i went a date on the guy who i went on a date with what the hell we're gonna call him derek i don't know why we're gonna call him derek <laughs> so derek was in my class with me and college boy and so me and college boy had just got done talking so i wanted to make him jealous so i would like message like Derek while we were in class like just like talking mess like nothing flirty or nothing like just something to talk about like we would talk about the teachers or something I don't know and we would just message and then like we would look like we were in a zoom class so like it wasn't that obvious but if you're paying enough attention and if y'all had to do class over zoom you know like you know when somebody is texting somebody in the zoom I know it seems like this y'all don't even make sense it does okay you know because you make a joke and then you guys both look up like like you you get it like and then the teacher is like y'all like i i know it seems weird but like me and college boy did it and like every like the teacher would both call both of us out like y'all are not paying attention like you know who he's talking to so since he knew the deal because me and him used to do it i was like okay i'm gonna do it with derek so <laughs> I ignore my nails they're not done so I would like message Derek he would message me and like we'd just be talking and giggling and so um like that was just kind of the tea I think like over that he kind of thought like maybe I was interested in him but I really I wasn't like he's a sweet guy he really is a sweet guy like I'm not gonna laugh about it he's a sweet guy he's just not my type um especially after this date so yeah that's a little bit of a backstory so i was done talking to college boy and then a couple months went by i had already been out of school for like a couple months um and randomly derek messaged me on instagram and he like wanted to hang out and I knew I wasn't interested in him like already but I was like you know what like we could be friends like you know he does music I don't have a lot of friends that do music so like it's fine you know um we'll have some mutual friends because we went to the same school like it'll be cool so we went out and the first time we went out like it wasn't like horrible I wouldn't really count it as a date like we just kind of met up at like the store and then we went to eat but it was a place that he worked at so like that shit was like it was free <laughs> like he didn't actually pay for it like he offered to go somewhere else but like 
if you tell me like hey you want to go to this place like i'm gonna get a discount because i work there it'll be free because i work there like i'm not gonna be like no you know what i mean like yeah let's go um because you never know like he could be a really sweet guy say hi to nova he could be like a really sweet guy and like i'm all for like you know low budget like it's okay like cool but so yeah we went to a place like where he worked at and we ate there it was cool it was fun we had good conversations like it was cool he seemed cool um and yeah that was it so while we were leaving <laughs> okay i'm gonna keep my composure it's not that deep it's not that deep to y'all because y'all don't know like the depth of the story with me in college way but it's not deep to me um so while we were leaving Derek's talking to me and he's like yeah I'm actually moving into a new house with like two people that um that we go to school with and I'm gonna be roommates with them and I was like oh cool like who is that who's the guy so when I used to hang out with college boy <laughs> he had a roommate too okay Derek proceeds to tell me mind you college boy's roommate hated me okay he hated me we're not gonna get into why like he was honestly a jerk I don't even know why like I kind of know why but he was a jerk to me before he had a reason to not like me okay so I don't know why but whatever um <laughs> and so he proceeds to tell me that he's moving into a house with college boy and college boy's roommate that's so great that's so great right like what are the odds what are the odds that you would be moving in with the one guy that i had a situation with at this school and you want to take me on a date so i kind of told him like the situation because we had kind of been talking about something before where we were talking about like the school hoes and he asked me like who i think one of the school hoes was and i brought up college boy because i know that he and yeah he a hoe like he's a thought and he was like, later on, he was like, it's funny that you asked him a movie in with because it's actually him. And I was like, okay. So that's how that came along, whatever. So like, it's kind of irrelevant. But the thing is with me and girls, look out for this too. If you have a past with a guy and then like someone who has connections with him just randomly wants to like talk to you, like it could kind of be a red flag because maybe he's just kind of like like i don't know like maybe he just like wants to know the tea like you get me it was just kind of a red flag for me but i also knew that i wasn't really like that into him like i would just be friends with him plus he's gonna live with college <laughs> he's gonna live with college boys like if i'm friends with him obviously he's gonna invite me over and i would just love to see the look on college boy's face when i'm at his house <laughs> So a couple of like days later after that, um, Derek hits me up again on Instagram and he asked me to go to like the show with um, with him and his friends, I guess. And it was like a art show um, with him and his friends. And I said, yeah, like the, the first time we hung out, it was cool. And like he was he seemed cool as a friend. So I was like, OK, I'll hang out with him again. It's going to be other people there, too. Like, it'll be cool. So i um it's that day that i'm supposed to go over and as i'm getting ready to go over there and like literally getting in my car he texts me and he's like hey by the way like i thought my parents were gonna let me have the car but they're not so can you drive and it's just like for like a second date like i wouldn't even call the first time a date like the first time we hung out a date but like for that second time hanging out with a girl like and it's gonna like kind of be a real date like if you don't drive like I don't know that's just kind of like uh because because the thing is you asked me to go out with you but now I gotta drive and waste my gas like mind you this boy lived far from me like where he lived was an area that I'm always in so I'm used to having to drive far because I live in the middle of nowhere but first of all you live far from me and now you want me to drive like it was just a lot because I was already gonna meet him at his place so I'm meeting at your place and then I'm basically picking you and your friends up so that we can go to this event, like whatever. So that was already a red flag, but I was like, I'm literally already in the car. I already got ready, like whatever, I'm just gonna go. So I get there and he lets me into his house. He gives me a hug. <laughs> he 
He gives me a hug and he was musty. <laughs> like he was musty, like strong musty. Like it wasn't even like, okay, he lifted up his arm a little bit and I smelt it. He could be like this, bitch, I smelt it. Like I smelt it, I smelt it. It was so bad. I was like, <laughs> Like, why does this happen to me? I just feel like I'm not, I don't deserve that. Like, especially after the stuff I've been through with guys, like, I deserve someone who's going to take a shower before they take me out. Like, <laughs> you didn't shower? Like, I, I'm honestly embarrassed to tell you guys the story because, like, that's embarrassing that someone would even pre present themselves to me like that. You feel me? Like, to anybody, like, it's embarrassing. Like, anyone, even for anyone watching this video, I want you to know that any guy or girl should definitely take a shower before they try to hang out with you. Like, that's just pure respect. I have to smell you. So, um, I go in the house. The house is, like, pretty empty, and he's, like, telling me, oh, like, you know, um, I've been moving, like, my family is moving, whatever, we're moving out right now, he's moving out to a different place, and so is his family, so, okay, I get it, you've been moving around, but, like, that means, like, you should know you stink, my thing is, like, you don't smell yourself, like, for anybody who's just, like, usually musty, like, you don't smell yourself, like, I feel like I would smell myself if I was musty, and be like, oh, let me take a shower, like, and you know what, funny thing about it, college boy, I love college boy. I don't love him, but like, I, he'll always have a special place in my heart. And it's strictly because of this. This one time, we was hanging out, okay? And he was like, I smelled him. Like, he was kind of musty, like, but it was cool, like, whatever. He was kind of musty, but like, he realized it. Like, I realized it, and I was just like, whatever, fuck. He realized it, and he was like, hold on, I stink. Got up. Wash his underarms and put some deodorant on. <laughs> I was like, I've never met a human being that stunk and didn't realize they stunk. Especially a guy. Like, I had to teach a guy how to brush his teeth one time, you guys. And his breath still stank after that. Like, so, so to go to a guy who, like, finally, like, realized when he stank, like, it was, it was refreshing. I had hope for men. Then I met his friend. Like, he just stunk, and he didn't realize it. And so that was already horrible, because now I got to smell you. We're going out in public, and you stink. Wow. So then he's like, oh, my friends are here. Um, we can go outside and go get them. So we go outside to go get his friends out of the car. And, okay, the guy I went on a date with, he was white, okay? And his friend was white. Like, And, like, that, honestly... That's not out of the ordinary for me. Like, it's whatever. Um, but his friend's girlfriend was black. And so if you've ever, like, gone on a date with a white guy or, like, started dating a white guy, like, even if that's, like, usually, like, what you do, like, it's still really comforting when you see other black girls around you. <laughs> like, so when I walked outside and his friend, like, got out the car and his girlfriend got out the car and she was she was black, I was like... Okay, I feel a little comfortable, like, okay, like, her, like, you know, like, okay, like, I feel way more comfortable, she was so cute, she was so pretty, her outfit was so cute, like, this girl is everything, love her, to this day, I don't talk to her, but, like, she's cool, like, she's cool, and his friend was cool, too, like, I liked both of them, um, and so, we go into the house, I meet them, they're super nice, they're cool, um, but he was kind of like getting ready to leave. Derek was kind of like getting ready to leave. And so I was kind of just sitting there with his friend and his friend's girlfriend. And it was, they were cool. Like they were super cool. They were cute. It just got kind of weird because they were so lovey dovey. And I love that. Like I love that. Like when I get a boyfriend, like I probably won't be as lovey dovey as them, like in front of people, but like I love it. Show your love, like express that. I think that's great. It's just awkward when you are super lovey dovey as a couple and you're hanging out with two other people who aren't a couple yet and aren't lovey dovey. Like we literally have shook hands. And so we're hanging out, getting to know each other, and your friends are making out that right next to us. <laughs> it's a little awkward. Like, it's just like, because we're not going to be doing that with you smelling like that and with your underarms. Like, we're not going to be doing it. So it's like, 
it was a little awkward like you know so like we get ready to leave and um of course i'm driving so everyone gets in my car and when i tell you girl this <laughs> who who i don't want to cry like i'm really gonna like I, I really like feel like i'm gonna cry right now it was so bad this boy got in my car he got in my car still smelling musty like i know he didn't put on no deodorant before we left the house and he put his arms up like this. <laughs> he got in my car and put his arms up and was just rolling like this. Cause my thing is at that point, you know you stink. You know you smelt something. And you, like, you left the house and didn't put on deodorant. You have been moving all day and didn't put on deodorant? A little cologne? Like, it wasn't like must with a scent of something trying to cover it up. You didn't try to cover it up, you stink. And now you got in my car and put your arms up. Put your... Sh Stop playing with me. Because at this point, it's a joke. Because, like, at this point, like, that was disrespectful. Like, <laughs> like, I feel really disrespected. Not only am I driving, but I pulled up to your house and you stink. Like, am I being punked? So, best believe I turned up the air, Heffa. The air was on cold, all the way up high, blowing in that hoe. Like, it was, it was, like... It was cold in there, okay? And I knew he was cold. Like, I knew he was cold. But my thing is, like, you shouldn't have stunk. Like, you stink. Air was blowing. I know everybody was cold in that hole. I had my little butt heater on and the air blowing. I had it all on him. Like, yeah. And I'm pretty sure he had the nerve to, like, move the air away from him. Like, you know how you can move the vent away from you in the car? Keep moving on to your armpits because that's the problem. Like, I should have. No. Anyway, so we go to the event. The event was so boring, y'all. Like, I don't know. It just wasn't my cup of tea. It was really crowded. I didn't know anyone but him there. His, his friends were super lovey-dovey and touchy. They were, like, making out the whole time. I love them. Like, not talking mess about them at all. Not even him. Like, honestly, everything I'm saying about him, it was just the truth. Like, I think he's a cool person. He just smelled bad, you know? It was just so unenjoyable and i was just so ready to go so we stayed for a minute i was like you guys ready to go and they weren't ready yet so we kind of like stayed for a minute he was saying hi to people introducing me whatever so we're finally like okay ready to leave cool so they're like oh you guys want to go eat somewhere i'm like yeah let's go eat whatever so we go to find a place to eat and we go to the grove and we're walking around we wanted to go to like cheesecake or something but it was like really late i'm pretty sure everything was like pretty much closed so we were walking around trying to find somewhere to eat um every place that we were finding was either closed or we would find a place and his uh his friend's girlfriend was like i she was like a picky eater um and she was like i can't eat that like i just can't like <laughs> i love her but that it started to bug me like get a salad like you could go to bj's girl get a salad call it a day call it a day like we're hungry i'm ready to go home your friends stink like get a salad eat some bread call it a day so it took even longer because she was having a little bit of a breakdown and couldn't find any eat. so finally um i remember a restaurant that me and my girl group went to and i tell them like oh there's this restaurant like they should have something that you like like it's pretty healthy like um do you want to eat there she was like oh yeah like she looked at the menu she was like oh yeah like this is cool um i'd love to eat here so i'm like cool found something good for all of us like let's eat let's go we go there was no way we go to sit down <clears throat> and um we're sitting down and it was just so like it was just awkward because me and him weren't really talking that much and they were like super lovey-dovey like I said so I'm just like sitting there like super awkward the whole time like and like the, we could talk but it's like if I'm hanging out with a guy with a group of people and I know that I'm not that interested in the guy like I want the group to be involved in a conversation like I don't really want it to just be me and him talking so I was really hoping that like us all sitting together like we would all have conversations you know so it was really awkward. So I went to the bathroom and I FaceTimed my friend Maya. <laughs> Shout out to my stink. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I was on the phone with her and I'm like, girl, I'm ready to go home. Like, this is so bad. Like, he stinks, girl. Like, I'm ready to go. Like, I really want to go home. Like, blah, blah, blah. She's like, damn, girl. So I'm like in the bathroom for a minute, like a good minute. Um, And so we come back. They bring us our food. 
and we're eating and like while we're eating me and like all of them we all start to have like a really good conversation just about social media and people on social media and how like unhealthy some of it can be and draining and just like all of that and it was a really good conversation like honestly like it that was like the most real deepest conversation I had had with like his friends so it was like really cool and that was the moment where I really felt like comfortable with all of them and I was like you know what they're like really really cool people that was probably like the best part of the date but that conversation was with them not him you get me um and so finally like it's time to go we're done eating and the um waitress comes and she brings out the check and they split it with his two friends the couple and me and him like the check is split like that well she comes back she gives me and him our check and then them their check and okay this is the thing and i will never do this again like now i will not do this but i like i hadn't really gone on like dates with people that much like the first like dates that i really ever went on was with someone that i was in a relationship with and they weren't that great of a boyfriend but they definitely paid <laughs> like every time we got food like they definitely paid but like at the same time they were my boyfriend so i, I just kind of expected that you know and obviously like sometimes i'll handle it i'll pay whatever but that was what i was used to you know so now being single and going on dates with other guys like i didn't really like I, I didn't really just know like feel comfortable assuming that they were just gonna pay when like really that is what gentlemen do if you offer to take me out like you're gonna pay for my meal that's just some people don't agree how I was raised with the men in my family that's how they taught me a man is supposed to treat me so that's what I really expect but I was like a little shy like I had never really went on a date before so I put my card out <clears throat> Mind you, before I put my card out, I see him like on the phone. I don't know if this is a fact. This is what I think I heard. Like, this is what I think I heard. He gets out his phone and he like goes over and he sounds like he's on the phone and he's like asking money like from his parents. Like, hey, can you put like money on my card? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So that's fine. That's fine. You still live with your parents. Like, okay, I get it. Like, that's fine. Whatever. Um, I paid for my meal. No, I didn't even put my card down. I put a 20 in the check. I had cash. So he paid with his card. My meal was probably like 11 bucks, right? 11 bucks. His was maybe like, maybe around the same, maybe like 13. I don't know. I know for a fact, like I put my cash down, right? And then he put his card down, right? When she came, she said, okay, cash and the rest card. I said, yeah, whatever. Now that I think about it, not only did I pay for my meal, <laughs> not only, okay. oh, I'm just so disappointed in the fact that I'm so stupid. Not only did I pay for my meal, but I paid for some of his, like half of his, like not only did I pay for my meal, but I paid for some of his. So yeah, I was just like, wow, like, wow. Because my thing is, like, I get it, I put the cash down, but you could have easily been like, no, like, I got you. Like, girls do that all the time. They'll put the cash down or they'll put their card down and the guy's like, what are you doing? Like, I got you. Like, that's what, that's what happens. That's what you're supposed to do. So then we're walking back to my car and we get in my car and he goes, hey, can you drop my friends off at home? His friends got dropped off at his house. So what I'm thinking is, okay, we're going to go back to his house and his friends are going to get picked up from there. You're not going to ask the girl that you asked on a date to go drop them off at their house, to go out of her way to drop them off at her house. Obviously, I'm not going to say no. Like, I'm not going to say no. So I'm like, yeah, sure, like, whatever. So we're leaving the parking structure. He didn't, I had to pay for parking. Like, it's in LA, like, parking is not free. He didn't offer to pay for parking at all. His his friend's girlfriend paid for the parking. Best believe I wasn't finna do it. Like, no. His friend's girlfriend paid for the parking. She was like, here, like, you want me to pay? Like, I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever. Usually I would say no, but I was like, like, and I, I always say no. I go out of my way for people and I always say no and I just pay. And then I'm really like, no, that wasn't necessary. They should have paid, you know? So this time I was like, yeah, like, sure. 
So she gives me her card. I put it in. She pays whatever. He didn't offer a lick of nothing to pay for that ticket. The least you could do was pay for parking. Also, he did not reimburse me for gas at all. Like, not only did I drive you to this place that you asked me to go with you to, but I also went out of my way to take your friends home. He did not pay me gas at all. Like, nothing. Okay? So I go and I drop his friends off. Like, whatever. And I go to drop him off. This, <laughs> mind you, it's like maybe 12, like 11, 12 at night. This boy asked me in like if I wanted to come inside. Did we not go on the same date? I don't think I'm going inside. <laughs> like, first of all, just anyways, like I wasn't gonna go inside anyway. Even if the date was great, like you're at home by yourself, like I'm not going inside. Like maybe you weren't gonna make a move, but you probably were. Even if he was, like, my dream guy and the date was great, second date, no, I'm not going inside. Like, I'm just not. I'm going to go home. It's late. Like, thank you. I'm going home. Not to mention the date was horrible. You didn't pay for my gas. You didn't pay for my meal. You didn't pay for the parking. I'm going home. I'm going home. Like, what? It, like, at that point, like, just, like, when I look back at it, I just feel like you, you think that I'm just, like, I don't deserve no respect, I feel like. Because <laughs> after all that, like, you thought I was going to go inside your house. Like, you think I'm the bottom of the bottom tier. Like, for what? Like, I don't look like it. I don't act like it. I don't present myself like it. Like, I was just so, like, I was too nice in the situation. And it was just so bad. And I just, now, like, if a guy ever asked me on a date and he's like, oh, can you drive? Like, I'm not going to the date. Like, it was a lot of learning in that one date. You know what I mean? There were a lot of red flags. There were a lot of times where I should have been like, you know what? I'm going to go home. Um, and I was just too nice and I didn't. But it is what it is. Um, now I'm pretty sure he lives with College Boy. I never got to see College Boy again because I cut him off before I could go to the house. But it is what it is. <laughs> that's the story time on the worst date i've ever been on hopefully that is the last worst date i've ever been on and all the other dates will be amazing and hopefully all the other dates will be with one person because i don't want to keep dating random people i want to date one person and fall in love and be said because i'm not a multiple person girl it's not for me like this whole like dating people thing is not for me like i i just need one person and i'm set for my life i will be in love with you for the rest of my life and that i will only find interest in you that's what i need i don't want to get to know other people but i just haven't found that person yet so hopefully i will not have another date as horrible or even more horrible as that i don't think it could get that much worse i'd have to get like kidnapped for like it to be worse than that i feel like comment what horrible date stories you guys have please because i would love to know like please tell me horrible dates so like i just don't feel left out like please share with me like i really want to know um and yeah like subscribe um and i love you guys so much i will see you guys in the next video i hope you guys are okay and happy if you're not my dms are always open and yeah you guys mean a lot to me so please be patient with yourself and loving towards yourself and yeah love you guys bye